With the compatibility of Pokemon Home and Scarlet and Violet now integrated, we can get the exclusive items that are available in these games to transform a lot of the legendaries into their alternative forms. And we're gonna go over all of the details that you need to know to get these items in today's video. So as I say, a lot of Pokemon are now transferable in from Pokemon Home to Scarlet and Violet, including things like Zamazenta, Zacian, Genies, as well with their Incarnate and the Therian forms, as well as a bunch of other Pokemon that have alternative forms. Predominantly, they're all the legendary Pokemon, but we need to know how to access their special items in game. And that's what we're gonna cover in today's episode. So once you've traded in a bunch of your legendary Pokemon from Pokemon Home to Scarlet and Violet, these things can include, like we've mentioned, the Zamazenta, the Calyrex, uh, the Spectria, the Glastria, then the Genies, as well as Palkia and Dialga. You wanna come to this area on your map, which is Porto Maranada. And we wanna head down to this area right here, which is the auction house. So once you come up to this mart, uh, the first thing you're gonna look for is this vendor right here. This vendor gives us different items, key items that can change the form of different Pokemon. Here you can see the Adamant Orb is gonna be an item that we can buy and everything's gonna be like super cheap, so don't worry about anything costing a ton of money. You're not gonna need loads of money for these items. There we go, we get it for 5,000, so not a huge amount of money. Um, and that is the Adamant Orb there, which is for Dialgar and Palkia, of course. Uh, she's still there, she's got the Lustrous Orb as well. So you can just go through all of these different auctions uh, as long as you've got the Pokemon registered in your games, you're going to be able to come in and then get these Pokemon items that you need. The Lustrous Orb, the Adamant Orb, and then the Gyrus Orb as well is going to be probably the next one. Now we've got these Pokemon registered in our games. It is a little bit annoying that you can't just pick these items up and you have to go through all of the auctions to kind of win them. But it, as I say, the items aren't going to be costing you the same as like one of the special pokeballs the apricot balls or anything like that see get that one for 4500 and then we can come back give us orb this time and you just kind of continue going through this until you've got all of these key items for these pokemon you've got the give us orb there and the next one we're gonna have is the scrolls of water so that is for the urshifu so this is what we want to get for Urshifu, evolving Kubfu into Urshifu. We need the Scrolls of Water. Uh, this is the Adamant Crystal. And this turns Dialga into its origin form. So this is a really cool item to get. So you can get the origin form of Dialga, which we haven't seen other than in Pokemon Legends Arceus. We've got the Reveal Glass as well, which is going to be used for the Genies course to turn them from their incarnate forms into their Therian forms. This is quite an important one to get, especially if you're wanting something like Landorus Therian, which is really predominant in competitive play, as well as for Enamorous as well, which is that new one from Legends Arceus as well. So that is going to be a really useful item. Just bear in mind, I haven't got any of these Pokemon in my party either. They're all in my boxes at the moment. Um, see the Rusted Shield coming up next. I've just got a Gimme Ghoul in my party. All these Pokemon are in my boxes. They've all been transferred into my game. So I can just come to this vendor once all the Pokemon have been transferred in. And then I can come to this auction house and get these items. The Rusted Shield and then the Rusted Sword. They're items for Zamazenta and for Zacian. Uh, you're going to be able to kind of change into their alternative forms and the Gyrius Call. So this is going to be the Gyrius Call and the Scroll of Darkness, which is the other item that we're going to need to turn Kubfu into the dark fighting type of Urshifu. So the single strike version of the Urshifu, you're going to be able to get both of those. And I'd imagine if you trade Kubfu into your game, you'll be able to get both the scrolls in the auction house here. So there is a bunch of different items that we're going to have access to in these games. This one's pretty expensive, but again, nothing going over about 7,500 for these items. So it's not too bad, but you're going to have to spend a little bit of time at the auction house. If you've traded everything in like me all at once and the lustrous globe as well is another one that we're going to have to be able to get a hold of. Of course, this one is to turn Palkia into its origin form. So we had uh, the item for turning Dalga into its origin form. Now we've got one for Palkia as well. So this is the, the Palkia item. Reigns of Unity is a key item for turning Calyrex and Spectria 
our Calyrex and Glastria into the Calyrex Ice Rider or the Calyrex Knight Rider um, versions of themselves. So that's combining the two Pokemon, kind of fusing them together to become one Pokemon. And you need the Reigns of Unity to kind of bind these Pokemon together, which is another key item that you're going to need in your bag to be able to do this. And that is that one. And then once you've done all of the items there, uh, the vendor will disappear and that will be it. Like I said, I didn't have to have anything in my party, but then when you come to your key items, you can see the scroll of water, that's for Urshifu, the scroll of darkness, and then we've got the reins of unity, the reveal glass, and then the other items are all gonna be in our held item box. So we're gonna have to go through our held items here and then we can have a look at these held items. Lustrous orb, adamant orb, gyrius orb, rusted shield, rusted sword, gyrius core as well, well lustrous globe and the adamant crystal there are a few of them there and that's everything that we've got we can go to our boxes and then we can attach all of these items to their respected pokemon so the lustrous globe we can give to palkia and then oh wow it actually transforms right in front of us so that is kind of it actually transforms in the auction house okay that's not not ideal let's move outside to do the rest of it we can come to hell items give an item uh, we can give it the adamant crystal as well and this will now transform our dialga don't get a very good view of them i mean they're pretty massive right into its origin form which is pretty cool so there's the and then we can do the same with giratina we can give it the Girius call and we'll be able to see it in its origin form as well which is pretty nice the same with Zashin and Zamazenta, we can give it the Rusted Sword and the Rusted Shield. So the Rusted Sword's the item for Zashin, and it doesn't look like it's going to transform because it transforms in battle. And then the Rusted Shield is going to be what we're going to give to Zamazenta. And then for the other items, I think we're probably going to have to have these Pokemon in our party. And then we can go to our bag, go to our key items, because it is a key item, of course, the Reveal Glass will let us use it on Thunderous. And we'll be able to go from incarnate form into that Therian form, which is pretty nice. You'll be able to do this with every single one of them. You can see it's usable on all these Pokemon. You can use it from the Therian form. So Landers Therian, we can turn it back into its incarnate form. And we'll show you one more, which is gonna be that Enamorous, which is pretty unique as well, because it is a brand new Pokemon exclusively in Pokemon Legends Arceus and turns into the little turtle Enamorous form of its theory and form as well which is kind of weird so yeah that i prefer it in its its regular form to be honest so we'll turn that one back and then with the kung fu in our party we can go to our key items again and we can see that you can use the scroll of darkness on the kung fu or the scroll of water now we've so you can only use the scroll once on the kung fu uh we've got the water form urshifu here so we'll go for the scroll of darkness and turn it into that single strike version of kung fu here which will give us that single strike fighting and dog type urshifu as our other form which is pretty which is pretty cool so there's our kubfu evolving into urshifu and it learns the move wicked blow which is its signature move as well we'll just teach it over that one and um, now we've got ourselves both versions of the urshifu in our party and then the other thing to remember is the reins of unity you can use this on the calyrex so we need to use that on the Calyrex. And then if you've got the Spectre or the Glastria in your party, you can have the choice between what you want to turn it into. And you can go for the Reigns of Unity Transformation Calyrex into Shadow Rider Calyrex here. Um, and then we've got that Shadow Rider and wants to learn Astral Barrage like it does in Sword and Shield. So you can just overwrite a move here and it will learn Astral Barrage as one of its moves turn it back into its two forms you can go for the reigns of unity on this pokemon again it'll just reverse the transformation and that is how you do it and then you can do the same thing to get the calyrex and the glastria so you can get the ice rider form uh, of this pokemon and that is that and it should learn glacial lance as its signature attack and then we've got the zashin and zamazenti you want to just make sure you've got an, an iron head or another steel type attack on 
your Zamazenta or your Zash in. So when you do throw it out into battle, then it is holding the Rusted Shield. If it is Zamazenta, it will transform into that form, into its alternative form. And then the same with Zashin. You want to have Iron Head on it, so it will turn into Behemoth Blade. And then obviously for Zamazenta, it's Behemoth Bash. So we'll just be able to see the alternative form here as we go into this wild battle here. And there you can see it is in its big old form and it will have the behemoth bash there as its option and we can run away from this if the rusted sword we will have the intrepid sword ability activate and then see there the behemoth blade the nice thing about this is you can now terrestrialize zashin as well which is pretty cool and then you've got that behemoth blade to do some devastating damage and it's a cool animation as well which is pretty nice so there we go that is everything you need to know to get the different alternative form items that you require to change forms of Pokemon in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet once you've transferred them from Pokemon Home. So I hope you found today's video useful. Of course, if you have, please drop a like. It is massively helpful for the video and do subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of our Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content. We'll have more videos coming out on Pokemon Home as we get into it and take a deeper dive into it over the next few days. So stay tuned for that. If you've got any questions about anything you'd like to see covered with Pokemon Home and the integration with Scarlet and Violet, leave it in a comment down below. Massively appreciate you being here. Thank you so much. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you all in another video very soon. So until then, friends, take care and bye-bye.